to present the show that rips reality's lungs out. That's right, it's Mega Race 2 time. I'm Dick Headley, and how's about a hearty hi there for Mr. Virtuality himself? It's your mega host, Lance Boyle! Why do you love it? Because on Mega Race 2, we show the pain. <laughs> well, somebody's gotta tell the truth. No matter how inaccurate, isn't that right? Now, we don't enjoy showing unspeakable violence and meat-seeking missiles, even though they may not be real. No, we do it for the money. <laughs> yeah, only kidding, only kidding. We do it because it gives us a lot of pleasure. Something else that gives me a lot of pleasure is my desirable assistant, Mindy. It's so, so gorgeous. Tell us about that exciting new body you're wearing, Candy. You like it? How should I know? I haven't tried it yet. <laughs> Only kidding, folks. You see, I believe in the sacredness of motherhood. It so happens Cindy's not my mother. There's a fact for you. I'm wearing an executive sweetie, Lance. It's the brand new body from Improved Flesh Incorporated. It's a beauty, Linda. I was getting kind of sick of the old one. I am Lance Boyle, and you saw it first on... VWBT, Lance. That's truer than you think, Sandra. You don't happen to know what we do to reality, do you? Well... We switch it off and throw away the key. That's right. You're with Mega Race 2. It's like Mega Race 1, only a lot more brutal. Tonight, we have a totally fresh enforcer for you. <laughs> Sponsored naturally by VWBT. Yes, he'll be mega racing for virtual television, experiencing major trauma and death at every turn. It's hell, but it hurts. Speaking of enforcers, where'd the last one go, Suzanne? Poor guy. We had to send him back to real life. You see, that's where losers go when they die, Lance. Oh, gee, that's too bad. Tonight's brand new enforcer looks like my kind of man. You mean he's wearing the new Lance Boyle body from Improved Flesh Incorporated? No. He's more the handsome, intelligent type. You're fired. Just kidding, folks. You'll be seeing Charlene or somebody surprisingly similar throughout the show. Believe me, you won't tell the difference. I don't, and I should know. So settle back as I ask tough guy here to mumble a few words. Feeling all big and nasty, tiger? Don't worry, folks. He can't hurt you. Deep inside, he's a warm and sensitive human being. They're people too, you know. 
Oh, Lance, that was such a beautiful thing to say. Remind me to fire myself. <laughs> Let me explain the Mega Race 2 situation to the audience and viewers out there in lobotomy land. We've got six tracks waiting, but don't get too close because they haven't been fed for a week. <laughs> These venues are so beautiful, you'll want to live there, just like me. Only you're not allowed to for financial reasons. To win a track, our tough guy has to race on it a number of times. Kind of like a championship, if you see what I mean. Don't worry, I don't hear. Now, the enforcer's gonna be up against a big, big bunch of network-sponsored psychos just like himself. To encourage a spirit of cutthroat cooperation, we've decided it's not necessary to win every or even any race. That's our way of prolonging the pleasure we know is pain. <laughs> it's the driver who scored the most points after all the races on a given track who wins it and goes through to the next one. The other drivers are losers. And we send them back to reality, where their families tend to avoid them. <laughs> Points, by the way, are scored by finishing a race among the leaders. And that's not all. Money can also be earned uh, by doing nasty things, for instance, with missiles and mines. Between each race, those lucky drivers get to spend their delicious dollars in the Mega Race Weapon and Repair Shop. How about that? Whoever reaches and wins the last track of all is crowned King Mega Racer 2. He experiences a sense of achievement and returns in regal triumph to reality, where he'll probably never readapt. But he'll have his memories, Lance long after we've forgotten him. And now it's time for VWBT's very own enforcer to choose his exciting mega race car. Welcome to the Foundry. It used to be worked by efficient robots with families, but not anymore. We had them recycled as television. You'll know if you're watching one from the screens. Being tuned to virtuality is distressful to their metabolism. Who's working the Foundry now, Lance? Nobody, Tanya. You're looking at a lifeless, dead shell. Transformed by VWBT into the lethal racetrack it is today, as an homage to times long past when underarm dampness was only half the story. Sam, how come some of those machines are moving, Lance? I mean, if the place is shut down. Optical illusion, Tara. 
created by VWBT thought magicians, wizards of virtuality. Oh, wow! They can sculpt your mind into shapes unrecognizable to modern normalcy. That reminds me! Isn't there somebody who would like the audience to meet? That's absolutely right! Bring them on, Dory! Now, don't panic, folks. What you're about to see is a tranquilized version of a vicious degenerate called Fear Guts after his mother. If by any chance he overcomes his medication and lays a perverted hand on Terry, I won't hesitate to use this elegant device provided by Death Rain Lunch Incorporated. It's set to maximum to ensure fatal mortality and down-home barbecue sizzle. Kills them and grills them at the same time. Yeah, Don't you love the concept? Our enforcer could be on a one-way trip to the afterlife, Lance. He's up against Beer Guts here, one of the big favorites to win the foundry. Beer Guts is sponsored by Express Yourself, the long-lasting diaper for the entire family. They're so soft, yet resistant. Isn't that right, Beer Guts? <laughs> uh, I could be wrong, but I think he's expressing himself as we speak. Don't worry, Lance. These diapers can absorb up to three weeks of self-expression. Three weeks? Uh-oh. I thought it was six. Oh! They're so smooth and resistant, you forget you're wearing one. You've seen Beard Guts, big guy, and he's not the only one who wants to dismember your body. If you can't drive, you won't survive.
you got those losers on their knees, tough guy. Kick them when they're down. That's the Mega Race way. You know something, tough guy? Lance didn't think you'd win that track, but I knew different, and now it's time to pick a prize. All you have to do is select a mystery door. I could be behind one of them. Thanks, Ludmilla. We'll let our hero pay his little visit to the Mega Race 2 repair shop. Remember to flush this time. <laughs> You're with VWBT, and that makes me a happier person on levels of existence which don't have any.
You can do it, tough guy. Because if you can't, you'll be sorry.
Welcome back. I'm Lance Boyle, and you're watching Mega Race 2, the show for people with virtually no feelings. Wow, surely love the costume. Thanks, Lance. I'd feel totally naked without it. Our viewers out there will be happy to hear that, Shauna. You know why? Because when you say reality, I say, say your prayers. They tried to keep it secret, hidden from financially motivated eyes, but VWBT fearlessly ripped aside the veil of oriental wisdom. Now, Mega Race 2 takes you on a magical ride to the lost continent of Tibet, nestling in the forbidden mountain peaks of the Far East. Also known as the Roof of the World, Lance, and famous for its altitude and levitating religious monks. Is that what they were? Gee, if I'd known, I'd have left my hunting rival at home. Yeah, just kidding, folks. These guys can only be killed by silver bullets. Right, Veronica? <laughs> They're llamas, Lance, not vampires. I got my garlic gun handy, just in case. Who's the favorite to win the Tibet track, Lisa? He's right here beside me. Ah. <laughs> hey, where do you think you're going, Count Dracula? Meet Ten Ling, Lance. He believes reality's an illusion. Sounds like he should be racing for VWBT. We already have our enforcer, Mr. Ten Ling, sponsored by Dead Animals. 